LinkedIn Stories are designed to make it easier for you to connect with your community and share your professional moments. It adds a more personal and visual option to the content formats that are currently available for both individuals and organizations on LinkedIn. In this video, we're going to talk about how to best utilize LinkedIn Stories, what content you should consider, and how you can maximize your engagement. Hi, my name is Daniela Tanner, Director and Co-Founder here at Social Media College. This video is part of our blog series, giving you everything you need to know to succeed in the world of social media marketing. So first things first, how do LinkedIn Stories work? LinkedIn Stories are similar to other social media network stories, such as Facebook or Instagram, whereby they are displayed for only 24 hours. You can upload stills or video and record natively from the app with a maximum of 20 seconds. You can then add text overlays and stickers to make your stories stand out from the crowd. Only your connections and followers can see your stories and engage with them. Comments are not made public, however, they are shared through your LinkedIn messages. This feature is most similar to your Instagram story comments. As well as that, only first degree connections can actually make comments. LinkedIn stories can spark conversations with your network keeping them engaged and informed. They also have their own analytics, allowing you to track views. Okay, so how do you create a LinkedIn story? To create a LinkedIn story, follow these four steps. Step number one, record or upload your story. To do this, open up your LinkedIn app on your smartphone and navigate to your home screen. Click the plus icon next to your profile picture. You can then either make a live recording or upload media directly from your smartphone. If you can't see this feature yet, don't worry. You may need to update your LinkedIn app. To do this, head over to your app store, search for LinkedIn and click the update icon. LinkedIn Stories has only been released in a few countries to date. So if you can't see this feature yet, you will soon be able to see it. It's okay. Step number two, add text overlays and stickers. To do this, click on the edit buttons on the top right hand side of your screen. You can mix it up with text, hashtags, stickers, and more. The best way to learn about these features is to jump in and give it a go yourself. Step number three, post and engage. Once you are happy with how your content looks, simply click share story. Once your story is live, your connections will be able to start engaging with your content and send you LinkedIn messages in response. So make sure you keep a close eye on your messages coming in and respond quickly to maximize your engagement. Step number four, view your analytics. The LinkedIn story analytics tool will show you how many people viewed your story, how many messages you received as a direct result, and how many kept viewing more of your content. As LinkedIn Stories is a brand new feature to the network and has only been released in a few countries so far, you will find that your engagement rates are not on the same level as your Instagram or Facebook stories. However, this will be increasing more and more as the feature is released in more countries and also people are more used to this feature. To maximize your engagement in the future, conduct a quick analysis of your results and make a record of which content sparked the most engagement. That way, in the future, you can focus on high engagement content to maximize your results. So, now we know how to post a LinkedIn story, the next question is what type of content should we be posting? LinkedIn provide the following tips for what sort of content will work best for stories. Things you do at work, things relevant to your work, and things you do around work. We will run through each of these different types of content recommendations in a bit more detail. Starting off with things you do at work. This may include important initiatives and projects you're working on. As you navigate key decisions day to day, share real-time reports and updates on what you're working on. Home office. Show your current home office setup and how you stay productive. Everyone is looking for great tips and it will really help your audience get to know you on a more personal level. Learnings from colleagues, stakeholders, or industry events. Capture interesting insights, what piqued your curiosity, or share learnings from your workplace interactions. And finally, behind the scenes content. People always want to know what happens behind the scenes and see exclusive content that would not be shared on other formats. Stories allows you to do this firsthand, which will really help humanize your brand. Content recommendation number two, things you do at work. This may include industry news, information about your field or specific company and how it impacts or influences other organizations. Tips and hacks. Share tips with your community on, for example, how to multitask with ease or how to become a decision maker in the workplace. What you're currently reading, watching, or listening to. Audiences always appreciate something enlightening to get them out of their regular routine. What podcasts are you into? What books have you found helpful recently? Share resources that have helped you grow professionally. Content recommendation number three, things you do around work. This might include your interests, 
Show your connections any creative side projects or intriguing hobbies that you're passionate about so they can really get to know you. Virtual team bondings. Share insights about online meetings or even virtual chats with your teammates. Does your team catch up for regular quarantinis? At Social Media College, we certainly do. Share these events with your LinkedIn network. Team culture. Every team has their own traditions and cultural moments. Show your network how you like to socialize with your colleagues. Now, if you have read any of our previous blogs or watched any of our previous videos, you will know that the most important thing to remember when posting content to any of your social media networks is to ensure that every post either educates, inspires, or entertains. The same goes for your LinkedIn stories. Make sure you are either educating your audience, entertaining them, or inspiring them with every single post you make to ensure that your content is always adding value. While doing so, remember that LinkedIn in particular is a professional network, so keep your content in the context of your professional self. LinkedIn Stories is a brand new feature and those that jump on the bandwagon early will learn what type of content and what time of day drives the most engagement with your audience, which will empower you to gain higher market share and get ahead of your competition. So what are you waiting for? Log into LinkedIn today and explore the new Stories feature. Now it's over to you. What do you think will drive the most engagement on LinkedIn Stories? What content have you had the most success with to date? Share your ideas with us in the comments below. Love this video? Make sure you like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more social media tips and tricks. Click on the notification bell and get an alert as soon as we post something new. If you would like more information about LinkedIn Stories, be sure to check out our full blog article. You can find the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.